Welcome again to a new session of discussing the mode of action of intraoral digital sensors and in this session we are going to discuss the PSP that is the photostimulable uh, phosphor plates which you can see an example of which and uh, those plates are uh, uh, fluorescent uh, plates that will emit light but not directly this piece of plastic which is the same size of a periapical film and it's the same thickness as you can see in here which differs from the CCD plates or the direct plates which uh, we discussed early, earlier uh, 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 in being a, a thin However, they are not as flexible as the uh, analog film, but they are definitely more flexible than the uh, CCD plates. Plus, they are being uh, thin. Uh, this type of sensors, digital sensors, is called the uh, indirect sensors, unlike the ones which we discussed uh, with the cable, which we were called the direct sensor, because in that type, the X-ray was directly transferred from the sensor to the computer. There is no interface in between uh, uh, or there is no um, interruption in this process. However, in this case, it's a bit different. The, uh, the phosphor which is coating this plastic is the uh, barium europium uh, fluoraldehyde. And this, when exposed to X-ray, just like say I will I put I will put this uh, by the way uh, this has only one exposure side just like uh, the analog film and the sensor you cannot expose it from the back side of the film the back side of the film uh, has this um, metal uh, uh, circle on it which we will discuss in the how uh, the uh, this um, sensor will be scanned inside the uh, scanner so uh this is the uh the the side which has no uh metal circle in it is the exposure side while the back side which has a metal circle is the back side of the sensor this will be placed in a special cart uh, cardboard carrier like this one over here which fits only in one direction see The metal ring fits inside this recess and the other side is shown as the tube side. So just to tell you which side is to be exposed and there is a dot here which is similar to the dots that were used previously in the analog films. Okay, I will remove for demonstration purposes. Uh, this will be again placed inside a, a plastic barrier and you can refer to the plastic barrier uh, in the uh, infection control videos that I have posted earlier. Again, for discussion purposes, I will remove the sensor, which is this is the basic part in which the... Uh, 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 this is only a carrier. Uh, plus, the, the whole thing is going to be wrapped by a disposable cover, and this is the part that will uh, uh, actually... the active part, or the uh, light is generated. So. This is the exposure side again. It's placed in uh, behind the tooth and the x-ray is going to be directed from the uh, other side so that it will expose the object, in, which case, in this case the tooth, and the sensor. The x-ray which, which will be passing through the different structures of the tissue, the x-ray photons in particular to be more specific, will either be prevented from passing and hence the L L object is called radio opaque or it will be partially allowed to pass like in dentine and cementum and bone or it will allow all be allowed to pass like in soft tissues for like in the pulp chamber or the uh, other soft tissues which we call radio lucent okay so the sensor is going to receive different amounts of photons quantities, either abundant amount of photons from a radiolucent ob uh, uh, object 
all no uh, photons like from metals and enamel and then uh, 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 in between uh, from other structures which partially allow, partially allow the passage of photons. When the X-ray photons reach to the phosphor plate or the phosphor layer, which is, as we said, the, uh, the barium uh, European <coughs> fluoraldehyde, sorry, the phosphor layer is going to absorb or in other words, the, prot the photons will give their energy to the uh, phosphor, less, phosphor layer. So the phosphor layer will absorb the energy huh? and the, uh, uh, that has come from the, uh, from the uh, photons. So if the amount of the energy, amount of energy, quantity of photons coming from a soft tissue Huh? there will be more energy absorbed. While that, those photons which were blocked, they will cause no uh, 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 giving of, they will give no energy because there is no photon that has reached to the phosphorus layer, layer. And the other layers which have partially allowed X-ray photons to pass, they will reach also, but in a lesser amount than that of the pup. So the latent image here, of different structures will be stored. This is the first step. This is when inside the oral cavity. Now, the sensor, which was stable huh, before being placed inside the oral cavity, is now energized. But there is no release of the energy that has been absorbed from the uh, from the tooth or the object. 